sometimes when we collect things, we want to experience what it was like back in the day, get that, that nostalgia hit. Sometimes we don't actually want to experience everything exactly like it was back in the day. Dialing up to the internet, waiting all night to download a few meg file, swapping 20 floppy disks to play a game. Those are things that sometimes we do. Like sometimes we, it's, it's good to go back and relive those because something like as simple as swapping some floppy disks still does have that kind of nostalgia hit. But today there are ways that if we just want to play a game, or experience some software, we can do that incredibly quickly and, and with convenience. And so today, we're gonna to be doing something on the other side of it. We're gonna be taking some old hardware and completely maxing it out. Well, actually not completely. There's one other card that I do have that needs a little bit of work, but that'll be a, a fun other video. Today, we're gonna to take a Macintosh SE30 and upgrade the ROM, the RAM, uh, CPU upgrade card, the fan, we're going to do a, do a little bit of repairs. Uh, and so this is intended to be my kind of retro daily driver, you know, the, the go-to computer that if I want to quickly pop in a game or load something up or experience something, I can do that with, with today's modern conveniences. This is a Zen build, so it's, it's me showing what I do. I don't talk during my videos, but I do include more information in the subtitle. So if you're curious as to, as to what I'm doing or why, uh, please turn on closed captions. But yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a beast of a machine. So I hope you enjoy the video.